First, it's typically that deadlock over major issues of the day. It's that deadlock that encourages Congress to kick the can down the road in the first place, mostly to avoid blame for failing to reach a decision. So not surprisingly, then, commissions and committees tend to inherit, uh, inherit the stalemate that created them in the first place. And in today's context, when we think about the politics that lead to stalemate, we really have in mind this sort of intense and increasing partisan polarization, both increasing policy differences between the parties, as well as sort of simple partisan team play uh, that gives the parties sort of these strategic reasons to disagree with one another. Parties see the problems differently. They see solutions differently. And even when they can agree on solutions, sometimes they still have this incentive to disagree just because it's, just the, it's the other party.